Hey folks, welcome back to another episode. And if you guys can already tell by the title, we're getting into some more mail call uh, and unboxings here. So uh, I don't know what to start with here. I guess we can start with this since I already have it in my hand. Um, I saw these items called Fresh Baits on uh, Facebook and Instagram. I, and I'm pretty sure that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about when you guys see these. They're like uh, crawls. They're, well, they're not like crawls. They're they're scorpions. But uh, yeah, they're like, I guess you, you can use them as uh, imitation crawls. Uh, so yeah, I saw these a while back and really wanted to get my hands on them. Really wanted to give them a shot. I haven't used them yet. I just, like I said, I have these, these, uh, um, items just sitting um, on my cabinet and just waiting to get some stuff done and I figured hey I got I got some goodies here while I might just do a video out of it I just haven't had the time to really uh, get out on the water so it does come as a kit so you get the crawls and you also get the um, the hooks the the their weighted hooks um, again I'm not very familiar with the whole fishing lingo um, hopefully you guys can pick that up I am recording off the GoPro so I don't have a front uh, front screen to see where I'm at I'm hoping I'm in focus so that's why I got to move move everything around here so uh, here you guys go there's the back there uh, but the, the weights the weights is uh, the weights is pretty cool so uh, if you guys haven't seen or know what I'm talking about um, I will post a video or a link or something to show you what these look in the water and you guys can see um it does come with a pretty cool sticker here at the bottom uh so you guys can see there so um that is that uh these look so i mean they look hella cool very realistic um and, and i'm pretty pretty excited to uh give these a shot and throw give them a throw and see how um uh to see how they do all right the next one is not necessarily something that you need um does it make life easy? Kinda, I guess. So I saw this, it caught my attention, and I figured I'd, I'd give it a shot. Um, the bag actually ripped during uh, shipping. Uh, it came in kind of a little uh, envelope. I do have uh, all of my packaging here. I've already pre-opened everything just to save you guys the the uh, painstaking noise of opening, opening up each individual packaging. So let me go ahead and take these out here. So what this is a, so like a, a wacky, a wacky rig kind of um, kit. So you can unscrew this here. It has um, all your O-rings. You would basically put your stick worm to the bottom here, roll one of these um, O-rings up to the top to create your, your wacky rig. It's got a lanyard to be able to put it onto your, um, onto your bag or whatever you're gonna be using. It comes with extra uh, O-rings. And then it comes with a uh, wacky style weed guard, uh, weed guard hooks. So pretty cool. Uh, thought that was interesting. So I decided to pick it up. A pretty good deal, uh, not pricey at all. So I got that and I actually forgot the other one of these. What this is, it's a um, conversion uh, inflating valve for my pontoon boat. So that way you don't have to use a hand pump or a foot pump that would take I wouldn't say very long but it is um it saved me time so you can use a air uh like your electric air pump uh, 12 volt electric air pump automotive air pump uh gas station pump uh, so it, it has like the little uh, cap here and it's got the regular nozzle that you use for your for your vehicle or for your, your bike so um, it'll make things easier using a compressor to be able to inflate it. So the other one that I got is almost exactly similar, but on the side it's got a um, it's got a gauge. So it's got it shows you how much you put into the pontoon just to make sure that you pro uh, you inflate the pontoon bladder with the uh, proper amount of air, um, just so it wouldn't give you any issues. So basically that's what it is. It's two of these. Um, I didn't know which one I was going to get because um, I've struggled to find the proper valve that would work 
uh, even even a hand pump or uh, a foot pump I, I struggled to find the proper valve for it so I ordered just a few just to see uh, if they would work they're both the same, same size forgot the other one at home I'll post a picture maybe somewhere up here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about uh, the next one so the next one is my actual mystery tackle box um, that I have here but uh, I'm gonna open this up here first because on 4th of July or for around that week of 4th of July they were running a really good sale that I could not uh, pass up because some of the base that normally go like say um, eight nine ten bucks or, or something like that we're going for like five dollars six dollars seven bucks um and i couldn't pass up the deal it was a pretty good deal so i'm gonna open up the open up this here i do know what's in this box but pictures don't really do it just when you're seeing it um on the website uh so just open it up here um and i'm excited to see what they look like in person because i have not seen these baits in the stores so um yeah i'm excited to see what these look like so oh that's pretty cool um so this one is the eat me uh popping frog or the filthy frog um so you guys can see there a uh, filthy frog um and it says eat me on the side there uh, again i'm forgive me i'm hoping i'm in focus guys i really do and there's some info in the back which i probably don't think you guys would have uh, see because the zoom I'm still learning figuring this out with the zoom and everything but um, yeah that's the first time I've seen this um, uh, why should I say in my hands um, but uh, I, I've seen a lot of good reviews with this online the next one is the um, pull this up. the next one's called a flat banger Guggen um, flat banger Guggen squad um, there it's uh, that's what I was looking for the shotgun shotgun shad if you guys can see there um, and there you have it so uh, yeah uh, don't have any shad color um, lipless crankbaits or any kind of crankbaits in, in general um, there's some um, general knowledge in the back there for you guys but this is pretty cool i've really been digging the clutch that i got that's a lipless uh crankbait and let me tell you man I'm, I'm really really happy with that one so they make some really good baits man and the next one will be uh i've heard so much about this uh, i've seen a bunch of fish caught on these um so i'm hoping i'm hoping i can uh be amongst the rest here so this is called the um trusted hook from mustad Guggen squad um the hummer buzz bait and there you have it so uh i've heard a lot of good things about this really good reviews i've seen really good fish catches on this there's some info in the back if the camera does pick it up if not i apologize but really really awesome um i can't wait to give this a shot to throw this out on the water but that is that there. The um, last of what's in this box is called the Zinger Spin Blade. Spin Blade, sorry. Um, let me see, what is this called? I can't think of the other one. I know one's a Colorado blade, and the other one is, I can't think of the other blade, but basically it's got two, uh, both the best worlds um, uh, there you have it so I've also seen really good uh, reviews on this and really awesome uh, fish catches so that is that there so um, yeah I, I got a, a few top waters just you know it's the top water season um, I've seen a lot of the top water bites kicking up uh, on YouTube so I figured hey uh, I love my getting get in on this um, on these fish catches so here it is again um, I'm gonna open this up so this is actually my July subscription uh, box and um, let's see what we have here again remember this is uh, a multi-species I guess uh, it's um, uh, largemouth bass smallmouth bass and panfish like catfish uh, 
trout, uh, crappie, um, bluegill, stuff like that. So um, let's find the little list charts that they normally come with. And a sticker. Really dig the stickers, man. I really do. I'm a big fan of these fishing stickers. This is freaking awesome. I like this here. But uh, check this. Uh, <laughs> crouching, tagging, hidden, uh, hidden fisherman, bank fisherman. That's pretty cool. Dig that. And then you got a bunch of uh, verbiage booklets and stuff like that. You know, a lot of little pamphlets, info to teach you what's what. Um, talk about their uh, Guggen rods and what type of rods they have and then so this is obviously in the box tells you how to fish it where to fish it um, some general history and then we have our scorecard I guess you can call it um, and let's dig inside here so the first one is gonna be it's gonna be called um, 13 fishing jabber jaw um, so we're gonna have to look for that let's see here 13 13 fisher jabber jaw here we go and this runs eleven dollars ninety nine cents and it looks absolutely freaking awesome this is a really really stunning looking bait there you have it i really hope that i am in focus and in not i am sorry guys but there's the back info there and uh let's see yeah that's that's it that's uh wow stunning now the awesome part about this is that i've heard about the lip the bill um does swing back and forth to give this a whole lot more action um, so let's see if I have enough room to put all this stuff here the next one is called the uh, Her hookers terminal tackle mad mad cat mad catter hooks so basically they're just hooks um, oh you get different variety size hooks awesome all right so there we have it a big variety of different size hooks and there is some info in the back if you guys care to check that out they've got a website and everything but these run seven dollars 99 cents and i can see and understand why they are some very very good quality and thick hooks uh these are going to come in handy man so that is that there the next one is called the reaction strike ranger um let's see which is um, reaction strike ranger um, nope nope um where is it is it this one Reaction Strike Ranger. Here we go. Found it. And that one runs $6.99. And there you have it. Again, I'm hoping I am in focus or you guys can at least see what the hell is what here. And there's some info in the back. And uh, yeah, man. Um, sweet this one uh, this one looks really good we'll see how we'll see how all these baits do um, without dropping everything here the next one is the Guggen Squad Hummer six dollars forty nine cents and pretty cool I'm glad that I didn't get double because I already ordered something similar to it but uh, this is this is this one here Again, there's some uh, verbiage in the back and uh, yeah so I got two buzz baits I just didn't know what they were gonna send me and I saw the deal and I couldn't pass it up 
I just couldn't. Um, the next one is called the Cobra Tackle Weighted Spin. Weighted Spinner, sorry. And this is it right here. And that's, this one runs uh, $5.99. And this is it here. I'm just showing you the back because um, when I used to do my videos, I used to do it off my phone and it was easier to see when I had the screen and zoom in and everything. So again, I'm still learning all this. Sorry guys, uh, bear with me. Meanwhile, I learned everything at the time of the video. Uh, let's see the next one. Sorry, looking down on my phone, I had a, a text message come through. The next one is called the Westin Crawl that runs $5.99. Westin Crawl. Oh boy, these look nice. Just the kind of colors you want to be throwing to. Um, and these are these here. And some info in the back. But they're like a um, like a black, purple with a green specks in it. Um, man, this looks like it's gonna be awesome. Um, wow, these are these look really really cool. Dig this. Okay, the next one is called the um, Binks Spoon. Um, wow, this thing is freaking small. Okay, uh, this one here. Oh, and this it runs uh, three dollars ninety nine cents. I hope you guys can capture that. And uh, let me see. Do my best so that way it focuses on the lure itself and not me. I'm just zooming in and zooming out with my hands just to make sure that you guys can see it and finger cross that you guys can. Um, next on the list is uh, Northern Lights Plastic Paddle Tail Minnows. Plastic Tail Paddle Tail Minnows. Um, these ones are here. And these ones run three dollars fifty cents. There you have it. And there is some info on in the back. Okie dokie. The next one is called the Carl's Amazing Bait Varmint and it runs $3.49. Sorry about that. That is my alarm. There you have it. They kind of look like the stuff that they make for Guggen Baits. They're the, they're the um, company, Catchco behind is the company behind uh, the people who make the uh, Guggen Baits. Okay, and did I already, I don't know if I told you, uh, $3.49. And the last item in the box is um, Callan's uh, triple, triple Thread Carpy Crappy Scrubs scrub I guess um, I thought I said grub but on these run two dollars ninety nine cents there you have it hoping you guys can pick that up yeah so that is it guys um, 
pretty cool box man I mean, i'm i so far i've been really pleased with these um with these boxes honestly um so if you guys are thinking about you know wanting to um up your arsenal and and tackle I highly recommend give this give these guys a shot um you get you know you get what you pay for if you're gonna be if you're gonna choose the smaller the smaller box you're really not gonna get that many items i haven't i don't i never use i have never um purchased any of these boxes my first box was i um i decided to go with the 40 dollar one where you get like a i think it's like a 60 or 70 dollar value or something like that uh don't quote me but um i figured if you're gonna go with a smaller box you're really not gonna get that much out of it i, I don't i don't assume um but again i i don't know i don't know if anyone out there who's gotten the smaller box um can uh confirm that or or clear that up that'd be great but um yeah i highly recommend you guys giving this giving these guys a shot and giving it a go and you know strengthen up your arsenal in fishing gear if you will um but uh, i've really been happy with what i've um got going on with these guys here um but yeah i'm here in oregon uh on my break at a rest area so i'm actually on the job and decided to do a video for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, please like, favorite, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Later.